always begin any procedure by decontaminating your hands as per the seven step technique of hand hygiene as set out by the World Health Organization. You may use soap and water or alcohol gel on visibly clean hands. At this point, greet and consent the patient, checking correct patient identification and consider any contraindications as why the arm may not be used for cannulation. Ensure the patient is comfortable, positioned with the arm well supported. Clean your sterile tray or suitable receptacle using an alcohol or spore style detergent wipe cleaning front and back thoroughly. Once dry, gather your equipment. 2% chlorhexidine and 70% alcohol wipe for skin preparation. Disposable tourniquet. Your cannula choice is dependent on the treatment to be delivered and patient assessment. Your transparent, semi-permeable cannula dressing to secure the device firmly in place and allow ease of observation. Not 0.9% sodium chloride flush and gauze. Check the expiry dates on all your equipment and place it in the sterile tray taking care not to contaminate any key parts. At this stage further prepare your dressing by removing the securement strips. Decontaminate your hands once again and don your apron. You will then be bringing the items to the patient's bedside. When palpating for an appropriate site Start at the distal end and work your way up the arm. Common sites include, but are not limited to, the dorsal aspect of the hand or in an emergency situation, the anticubical fossa. For today's demonstration, we are using the anticubical fossa. Always examine both arms and ensure the vein is long enough to accommodate the chosen cannula. Apply the tourniquet 10 cm above the selected site, ensuring it is in position for no longer than 60 seconds. We check for the radial pulse pre and post application to ensure arterial flow is not restricted. Once the vein is identified, use the 2% chlorhexidine and 70% alcohol wipe to prepare the skin. Clean using the cross hatch technique for 30 seconds using all four corners of the wipe and allow to dry for 30 seconds. Dispose of the wipe and wash hands once again and then don non-sterile gloves. Remember not to repalpate the site before the procedure. When we lift the cannula we will be using aseptic non-touch technique to loosen any of the key parts. Position the gauze on the patient's arm. When we go to insert the cannula, we will be ensuring bevel is facing upwards. We will be anchoring the vein and inserting the cannula at a 20 to 30 degree angle, being careful not to penetrate the back wall of the vein. Once there is flashback, we will level the cannula flat and advance it by one millimeter. Holding the needle guard, advance the cannula off the stylet using your other hand. Do not remove the stylet until the cannula is in place and never reinsert the stylet after removal. Release the tourniquet, remove the stylet, applying pressure over the vein with one finger. Apply the white injection cap, disposing of our sharps appropriately and safely. We will secure the cannula with the strips across the two wings. The cannula is then flushed using a push-pause technique via the injection port or via a primed extension set. Please check your local policy for flushing guidelines. The transparent semi-permeable dressing is now placed over the cannula to ensure it is securely in place. 
Complete the dressing by dating and timing the cannula strip and applying it to the dressing. Dispose of all waste and packaging from the area and remove all PPE. Decontaminating your hands a final time before leaving the patient's bedside. Complete all necessary documentation, including the visual infusion phlebitis score as per your local policy. Also refer to the line labelling policy if applying an extension set or administration set. Ensure your patient is comfortable.